ഹായ് ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു ഐ എം ഗ്രേസമ്മ ഫ്രം സിക്സ്റ്റി ഫോർത്ത് ബാച്ച് ഓഫ് എൻ സി ഡി സി ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ടു ഡേയ്സ് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സ്റ്റഡി അബൌട്ട് ലോസ് ആൻഡ് റൈറ്റ്സ് റിലേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ആൻഡ് ജേർണലിസം ആൾസോ ചിൽഡ്രൻസ് റൈറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ലോസ് യു എൻ കൺവെൻഷൻ ഓൺ ദ റൈറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ചൈൽഡ് ദ യു എൻ കൺവെൻഷൻ ഓൺ ദ റൈറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ചൈൽഡ് ഈസ് അൻ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് എഗ്രിമെൻറ്റ് ബൈ കൺട്രീസ് ഹു ഹാവ് പ്രോമിസ്ഡ് ടു പ്രൊട്ടക്റ്റ് ചിൽഡ്രൻസ് റൈറ്റ്സ് UN Convention of on the Rights of the Child explains who children are, all their rights and the responsibilities of governments. All the rights are connected, they are equally important and they cannot be taken away from children. There are about 54 rights for children. 1. A child is any person under the age of 18. 2 All children have all these rights no matter who they are where they live what language they speak what their religion is what they think what they look like if they are a boy or a girl if they have a disability if they are rich or poor and no matter who their parents or families are or what their parents or families believe or do no child should be treated unfairly for any reason 3 when adults make decisions they should think about how their decisions will affect children all adults should do what is best for children governments should make sure children are protected and looked after by their parents or by other people who when this is needed governments should make sure that people and places responsible for looking after children are doing a good job for governments must do all they can to make sure that every child in their countries can enjoy all the rights in this convention 5 governments should let families and communities guide their children so that as they grow up they learn to use their rights in the best way the more children grow the less guidance they will need 6 Every child has the right to be alive. Governments must make sure that children survive and develop in the best possible way. 7. Children must be registered when they are born and given a name which is officially recognized by the government. Children must have a nationality. whenever possible children should know their parents and be looked after by them eight children have the right to their own identity an official record of who they are which includes their name nationality and family relations no one should take this away from them but if this happens governments must help children to quickly get their identity back nine children should not be separated from their parents unless they are not being properly looked after for example if a parent hurts or does not take care of a child children whose parents don't live together should stay in contact with both parents unless this might harm the child then if a child lives in a different country than their parents governments must let the child and parents travel so that they can stay in contact and be together 11 governments must stop children being taken out of the country when this is against the law for example being kidnapped by someone or held abroad by a parent when the other parent does not agree 12 children have the right to give their opinions freely 
own issue that affect them adults should listen and take children seriously 13 children have the right to share freely with others what they learn think and feel by talking drawing writing or in any other way unless it harms other people 14 children can choose their own thoughts opinions and religion but this should not stop other people from enjoying their rights parents can guide children so that as they grow up they learn to properly use this right 15 children can join or set up groups or organizations and they can meet with others as long as this does not harm other people 16 every child has the right to privacy the law must protect children's privacy family home communications and reputations from any attack 17 children have the right to get information from the internet radio television newspapers books and other sources adults should make sure the information they are getting is not harmful governments should encourage the media to share information from lots of different sources in languages that all children can understand 18 Parents are the main people responsible for bringing up a child. When the child does not have any parents, another adult will have the responsibility and they are called the guardian. Parents and guardians should always consider what is best for the child. Governments should help them. Where a child has both the parents, both of them should be responsible for bringing up the child. 19 Governments must protect children from violence, abuse and being neglected by anyone who looks after them. 20. Every child who cannot be looked after by their own family has the right to be looked after properly by the people who respect the child's religion, culture, languages and other aspects of their life. 21. When children are adopted the most important thing is to do what is best for them if a child cannot be properly looked after in their own country for example by living with another family then they might be adopted in another country 22 children who move from their own, their home country to another country as refugees should get to help and protection and have the same rights as children born in that country 23 every child with a disability should enjoy the best possible life in society government should remove all obstacles for children with disabilities to become independent and to participate actively in the community 24 children have the right to the best health care possible clean water to drink healthy food and a clean and safe environment to live in all adults and children should have information about how to stay safe and healthy 25 every child who has been placed somewhere away from home for their care protection or health should have their situation checked regularly to see if everything is going well and if this is still the best place for the child to be 26 government should provide money or other support to help children from poor families 27 children have the right to food clothing and a safe place to live so they can develop in the best possible way the government should help families and children who cannot afford this 28 
Every child has the right and education. Primary education should be free. Secondary and higher education should be available to every child. Children should be encouraged to go to school to the highest level possible. Discipline in schools should respect children's rights and never use. 29. Children's education should help them fully develop their personalities, talents and abilities. It should teach them to understand their own rights and to respect other people's rights, cultures and differences. It should help them to live peacefully and protect the environment. 30. Children have the right to use their own language, culture and religion, even if they, these are not shared by most people in the country where they live. 31. Every child has the right to rest, relax, play and to take part in cultural and creative activities. 32. Children have the right to be protected from doing work that is dangerous or bad for their education, health and development. If children work, they have the right to be safe and paid fairly. 33. Governments must protect children from taking, making, carrying or selling harmful drugs. 34. The government should protect children from sexual exploitation and sexual abuse, including by people forcing children to have sex for money or making sexual pictures or films of them. 35. Governments must make sure that children are not kidnapped or sold or taken to other countries or places to be exploited. 36. Children have the right to be protected from all other kinds of exploitation, even if these are not speci specifically mentioned in this convention. 37. Children who are accused for, of breaking the law should not be killed, tortured, treated cruelly, put in prison forever, or put in prison with adults. Prison should always be the last choice and only for the shortest possible time. Children in prison should have legal help and be able to stay in contact with their family. 38. Children have the right to be protected during war. No child under 15 can join the army or take part in war. 39. Children have the right to get help if they have been hurt, neglected, treated badly or affected by war so they can get back their health and dignity. 40. Children accused of breaking the law have the right to legal help and fair treatment. There should be lots of solutions to help these children become good members of their communities. Prison should only be the last choice. 41. If the laws of a country protect children's rights better than this convention, then those laws should be used. 42. Governments should actively tell children and adults about this convention so that everyone knows about children's rights. 43 to 54. These articles explain how governments, the United Nations, including the Committee on the Rights of the Child and UNICEF and other organizations work to make sure all children enjoy all their rights. These are the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. Thank you.